Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and our God. I will praise you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will speak of all your marvelous works. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. In the assembly of the upright and in the congregation, the works of the Lord are great. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Great are the works of the Lord, precious to those who love them. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endures forever. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Abundance and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. To the upright there arises light in the darkness, he is gracious, full of compassion and righteousness. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. 
Him were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. He were one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. The Lord shall send you a rod of strength out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. With you is dominion in the day of your power, in the splendor of your saints. O Son of God, born of the Virgin, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Your nativity, O Christ our God, has shown to the world the light of wisdom. For by it those who worship the stars were taught by a star to adore you, the Son of Righteousness, and to know you be oriented from on high. O Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Today the Virgin gives birth to the Transcendent One, and the earth offers a cave to the unapproachable God. Angels with shepherds glorify Him. The Magi journey with the star, since for our sake the eternal God was born as a little child. As many as have been baptized into Christ have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let them sing to your name. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Sing forth the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. The reading is from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, but when the time had fully come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so through Christ you are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The heavens declare 
the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Day speaks to the day, and night shows knowledge to the night. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom, the choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the Scriptures and descended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, 
who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, all of those afflicted with the coronavirus throughout the world, and all of those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, as well as, well as all those who have departed this life throughout the ages. In your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin, for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory, with your eternal Father, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all, in your goodness and love, for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you sing. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Henceforth and forevermore, blessed be the name of the Lord. Henceforth and forevermore, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. 
The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. Magnify, O my soul, the most pure virgin birth giver of God, who is greater in honor and more glorious than the hosts on high. A strange and wonderful mystery do I see, the cave is heaven, the virgin, the throne of the cherubim, and the manger room, in which Christ, the uncontainable God, is laid. Him do we praise and magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Your nativity, O Christ our God, has shown to the world the light of wisdom. For by it those who worship the stars were taught by a star to adore you, the Son of Righteousness, and to know you the Orient from on high. O Lord, glory to you. Today the Virgin gives birth to the Transcendent One, and the earth offers a cave to the unapproachable God. Angels with shepherds glorify Him. The Magi journey with the star, since for our sake the Eternal God was born as a little child. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord.